Hey guys, what's going on? So uh, I'm doing a little quick video to kind of show off what I got today. So today I got myself a uh, switch case with Cave Story Plus. Um, I have this game on Steam, but I want to try this out on the go. And Breath of the Wild. And I basically bought a switch about a couple months ago, or not a couple months, but like um, about a couple weeks or so ago. And basically, these are my third, fourth and fifth games for the system thus far. I bought Sonic Forces. I got Mario Odyssey, uh, Pokemon, Pokemon Tournament DX, and now these two games. I am planning to get Mario Kart when I get the chance. Um, I'm not sure exactly when that will be. Um, but <clears throat> these aren't the focus of my video for today. The focus here is on this. Huh, so it has 158-bit games, retro pocket, and it looks like a bit of a, it looks like the Game & Watch. Well, might as well, um, open this little bad boy and see what's inside. Okay, so I got the game out. Um, okay, it was upside down. And it doesn't really come with much except for a little manual. It apparently has AAA batteries that it, that it requires. Hmm, let me see if uh, it comes with... Hmm. I'll tell you what, folks, I'll be right back, and uh, I'll fix this little bad boy. And we're back, and uh, now I just put some batteries in here, and uh, apparently this is the switch that turns it on and off. So before I turn this on, the reason I wanted to buy, buy this is because, see, we have a lot of things like this here in Kuwait, which are like these little bootleg handheld devices. There's been devices that kind of look like the Game Boy, there are devices that look like the PlayStation, they call them sometimes the Pocket Station or Poly Station, not like the ones that you see from Ashens, but... There are, like, devices, I think they're called game stations. I have to put a picture up here to kind of show you. And a lot of them were basically just NES emulators that have either bootlegged games within them. And the box here kind of shows, like, as you can see, like, just different <clears throat> games. Now, obviously, considering this is a, a bootleg game that's, like, unofficial, it... I don't know what's inside this thing. I don't know where this came from. I just wanted to kind of try it out. So, this is basically my first impression of this with you guys on camera. One, two, three. Huh. So, this is one of those devices that kind of has like a, a list of games that comes with it. Huh. P. Wang. Right, I'm sure you can read that clearly here. P. Wang. That doesn't really sound right. Dinosaur War. CS Fire. The Agent. <clears throat> it did say that there was like 180 games on here. <clears throat> Might as well try one of them. Um. How do you start this thing? Is it touchscreen? Oops. Oh! This is the button that starts. Oh my god. This is not 8-bit. So, when I bought this from the store, I was told that this would be basically like, <laughs> like Game & Watch, basically. You're looking at this clearly, I'm looking at Zhao Zhao. Remember Zhao Zhao? Or like the animation, animation versus creator? Yeah. This is what I'm looking at. Alright, let's see what this one has. Oh my god. Pfft. 
To give you guys an example of, or an idea of like how cheap this thing was, this was five dinars. This is funny, I'm just... You saw that right there, right? I fucking died just like... easily. Oh, Saycross. What the hell am I doing? So it's like a shoot 'em up of some sorts. And I'm just like avoiding all these bullets. You know, I feel a large amount of regret for having purchased this immediately. Just, am I supposed to avoid the obstacles? Are you serious? This is one of those games where you can barely see, like, the, like, the obstacles ahead of you. This basically is a game machine that tries to basically act like it's 8-bit when it's anything but. It's anything but an 8-bit machine system. Oh my god. <laughs> What this is, is basically just, oh, let's just basically make some stuff in MS Paint, which I assume, which was done. And they either put some stuff in MS Paint, like, lazily, like, programmed it, and made it, and just claimed that it's 8-bit. What I was kind of expecting was at least some, uh, you know, NES ports. No. ARE YOU SERIOUS?! You're hearing that guy, right? Are you kidding me? That's Mario Brothers 3 right there. This is just lazily programmed. So, as you can see, there's like, there's like a random shot as to when the, sh like, the ball will go to the goal, and when it won't. Like, watch. Like, it'll, sometimes he'll miss, and then other times, he'll actually get it. See? Unless it has to do with the gauge here, which... Or maybe not. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm done with this game and the Mario Brothers 3, uh, music. Okay. Oh, the same screen. Beautiful. Are you serious now? Just so you know, guys, this isn't what I imagine an 8-bit machine to be. You know, sound effects that sound too advanced. That is enough for now. So, aside from the games just basically being these lazily programmed little games 
I don't know if I want to sit through all this, but I will say this though. I like the design. It has that golden like sticker to it with like the red combo, which gives it the old Famicom look. For those who don't know, the Famicom kind of had this design. Even the old Game & Watch had like the designs that looked like this. Which, in a way, I kind of admired. I always admired the look of the Famicom and the Game & Watch. Even the little font you can see right here resembles that of the Game & Watch system. Which honestly makes it all the more enjoyable that I'm basically playing a system like this, you know? It's just kind of a shame that the games are kind of lazily programmed, kind of feel half-assed, if you know what I mean. I don't remember there being any shooting games. So it's a, I like one of those, like, shooting games on a handheld, which would be kind of... Kind of hard to do with, like, you know. Well, I'm saying that as I'm basically shooting away at people. Watch out, ladies and gentlemen. You got yourself the next Shadow the Hedgehog over here. Now, I'm sure you guys probably think I'm not that funny, but, uh, well, neither is buying something like this for five dinars. And I should have been less. A dinar is probably more fitting for this thing. But hey, there's 180 games. Oh boy, I win. Unfortunately, not at life. I'll say this, though, the visuals don't look that bad, honestly. Like, the sprites, if you look, are kind of detailed. It's kind of a shame that it's not that interesting of a game. It looks like I'm playing a game on the Game Boy Advance. More than I am playing a game on, like, the NES. Now, I want to try P. Wayne, because that sounds like the... I don't know, I'm kind of curious as to what that is. Penguin. Fart? Fart. You see, you're reading that, right? Uh. Oh. I just... You're playing a panda that farts. Oh my god, the programming is just so off. Oh, the bamboo helps him fart. Beautiful. Hey James, if you're uh, if you're watching this, I think I got some inspiration for your cute yet offensive panda. Panda that farts. Fart. I don't remember them having a farting in my NES games. Nintendo, I want my childhood back. The childhood that you stole from me by not having farts in your games. Oh, this is gonna be interesting, racing car. Oh, that's not going to get annoying. Oh, wait a minute. It's one of those games, right? You have to look what's ahead of you. Like Ghostbusters and all these other older NES games. Hey, they got the accuracy right. The frustration and the, the fact that it's hard to play games like this. That's, that's just dandy. What's CS Fire? It's 
Guilty Gear. No. It's Metal Slug. Now, to those just, uh, getting mad at me that, uh, I confused Guilty Gear with Metal Slug, don't worry. I always confuse, uh, Streets of Rage and, like, King of Fighters with, like, Guilty Gear because I'm bad with, like, my fighting games. Now I'm just kind of like... Oh my god, this is just a sluggish version of, like, Metal Slug. Oh my god. Hmm. You, you took a game that I enjoyed during my, my youth and ruined it. Oh, Dinosaur War. Look at those dinosaurs right there. That's just a masterful piece of art. Why do these look like Pokemon? So I'm fighting these Pokemon thingies. Oh. Dinosaur War. Okay, I get it. I'm on board. It's not even a war. It's basically you just protecting your baby. I think I've... Bear versus Bulb. It is literally using graphics from Mario Bros. The arcade game. Yeah. Yeah, looking at all these... I'm just... You know... I don't really feel the, uh, the desire to play half of these. Slalom? This is not Slalom. Is that Luigi? Am I looking at Luigi? That is Luigi, it sounds like. Or Mario. Yeah, that sounds like Mario. Yeah, honestly, just... God, like, the, the games that they have on here are just, like, I don't know what I'm looking at. Some of these are basically just, like, like, a number of these are, like, games that, like, never were on the NES. Okay, they got Frog Jump. I want to see uh, how Frog Jump is. This is not how I imagined it. It has to be precise.
Okay, so I think I'm kind of getting the hang of this. I mean, this isn't too bad. I mean, it could be worse. What the hell is that? Apparently it's like a thing that helps. It looks like a cannon. But I think cannons are good for frogs. I can't believe I'm getting immersed into this game already. This is like one of the few games I actually kind of enjoy. I feel like they reuse that uh-oh noise like before a lot. This is starting to become like the Dream Gear, you know, if you are familiar with that. The Dream Gear is basically like, you know, those plug-and-play games where they basically reuse or make up their own assets and whatnot. They claim, oh, we have original games, and usually, like, the games are, like, garbage n nine times out of ten. The kind of game that you really wouldn't go back to play. Hmm. Kill this goddamn thing. Yeah, I'm getting bored. So I saw Circus Charlie on this thing. I'm gonna have to look through this. Ah, oh, here we go, 95. doesn't even have like I remember playing Circus Charlie as a kid and kind of finding it frustrating well that is enough for now I'll say this this certainly was a very cheap thing it really doesn't really keep my attention for that long it's honestly kind of boring. It's just one of those, like, again, the multiple games in one, like, machine or cartridge kind of deal that is usually kind of a... I want to say it's kind of a scam, to be honest. But, you know, what can you do? Anyway, I think that's it for now. I uh, hope you guys have a good one. And uh, I'll probably uh, see you guys in the next video. Whenever that will be.